Hey, everybody, thank you so much for joining us on Marketing Monday. Today, we're continuing with three more marketing tips that you and I can start doing in 2020. These are tips that I found that I want to implement in my business that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the first one here is constantly optimizing the user experience. We're going to talk about that today and also connecting online and offline strategies. Ben came up with an amazing strategy, so stay tuned for that. And the last one was prioritizing authenticity. All right, thank you again for joining us and stay tuned for the episode right now. If you're starting a new business or career, you want to get your message out online, but you don't know how, you don't know where to start, and you don't know what to avoid. Well, let me tell you, this is a great first step. This podcast is here to help you navigate the world of your business, sales, and networking for brand new entrepreneurs like us. Ben, how are you doing? Good morning. Man, it's it's morning. Uh, drink up a cup of coffee, get in the weekend, starting marketing Monday. So we'll talk about marketing tips. Uh, Matt's got some good ideas on marketing tips. He's uh, We were just discussing one on when we were talking about cultivating we were talking about uh, uh, constantly optimizing the user experience. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So that, that's one of the things that, that that's the first one that uh, I wanted to discuss this morning. I had a list out here that uh, uh, of 10 things that I wanted to start implementing uh, for marketing in 2020. So I just wanted to take a couple every day and share them with you. So you had it. So we had a chance to talk about them. And then uh, some of the things that we're trying to do as well and are definitely something that I'm trying to do is constantly optimize my user experience, whether it's connecting online through social media or through my emails, or through text messages. I'm really right now trying to refine my messages, which helps to optimize that experience. I want people to connect with me easily. Um, you know, I, throughout so many different platforms, things get lost and I want to make sure that Whenever anybody wants to connect with me on a business level, it's very, very easy and friction free. Yeah. Um, the, the direct messenger is very, very popular right now, right? People are reaching out on the DM. Um, we'll go back again. If the more you're out there, the more you're, you're spreading your information out, you have to start checking your spam, your spam box. Um, that spam box gets filled up. And I think that could be a lot of missed opportunities. So as you grow and as you get more popular, as you start to get more, in, and even I think um, Facebook has the spam box. Instagram, I've checked my spam box on Instagram. I've missed a lot of messages there. Um, and then even your email, you have to have um, like an email that you send, you know, have like a work email, right? I think you it doesn't make any sense if you have an email that says fluffy, at so-and-so at I love, you know, cotton candy, email me. It, it has to be simple, right? So you have to have, when we have the user experience, for example, like I haven't, my emails are very simple. So it's my same, my name and, and number and it's boom at gmail.com. I think Gmail is probably the best. I have an AOL account. I still use once in a while. Um, but I did, I did update to, I do have a nice Gmail and I use that Gmail for all my um, businesses, right? So, that's kind of the idea is, is you want people to find you easily. I think we've been updating our, um, our personal, like our website, our phone sites page with all our uh, information like YouTube, uh, here's our Instagram. So you can find us there, right? You go on our, uh, our profile, it's just one link and you can click on our, you can, you can go to Maddie's page, right? You can click on, there's a little link there. You can click on it and bam, you, it takes you right to every, it tells you who he is right off the bat. And that's, that's very, very smooth. I, and I'm trying to duplicate what Matt has. Um, so, it, but, but uh, you have to find your own, your own voice in that, in that little, that little, that, um, that website. Man, you're, you, you should go to Matt. If anyone, you got to check out Matt's uh, link there. Cause his is, the, his is smooth. <laughs> yeah. Matty sells dot Vegas. M A T T Y sells S C -E L L S dot Vegas. Um, I have the link tree. Uh, is what gave me the idea on Instagram. You have the link tree because you're only allowed the one link, right? So uh, I was looking at it. I was like, I, I don't have any. I don't want to pay for their pro version. I don't like really what it, it offered. So I was like, how can I make a little website that would host that? And I, I really tried to take the inspiration from what Linktree was doing, but put a little bit of, of the information about me on there. And yeah, I, I think it works really well. And it's, and it's a great place for anybody that wants to connect with me 
uh, can connect right there. And that's kind of where all my um, messages and everything can be um, found for myself. You know, I can go in there and check every single message and I won't lose anything. Yeah, it's good. What else, what else you got, Matty? Um, uh, let's see, connect offline and online strategies. Number two for today. Um, that, that's a really big one. Um, trying to understand how, you know, I was trying to create a, uh, a little postcard, you know, you're not a business card really. You remember, um, you know, you got a little age on you like I do, you know what I mean? Back in the, in the nineties when we were in school, you know, you remember those flyer parties they'd have, they pass out the flyer and, and all that. I was thinking, well, if I can just give a brief glimpse of myself on a little piece of paper with maybe a QR code, people can say, hey, I'm a real, because I get stopped all the time. Hey, what do you do? Or, you know, and, and it's so easy for me to meet people. I want a way for them to connect. So I've really been trying to figure out how to create some kind of card or some kind of offline content with a QR code that would make it so we, people, I could hand it to them and it would be interesting enough for them to um, scan the code and then be brought into my sphere online. Yeah, that's that's actually a good idea. I've seen those on like like um, like the food trucks. People put their 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 their, um, their QR code on the on the on the food truck. I'm seeing the people like branded on, on their on their um, on their products, right? The free stuff that they're giving out, and it does work. It it's, it does work. I've I've used it a couple it's times. Easy. It's so easy, um, and you just scan it. So you got to you put the picture on there, and it takes you right to their website. I've done it with. Uh, appointments with with doctor appointments they are not doctor, but like dentists or or, or um, my wife has a hairstylist and she has the q code and I'm like well like that was easy yeah. so that's a very very um good way to 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 give your information out right and it goes right into your phone and you can save it screenshot it whatever you need to do and uh man that it it, it, it sometimes it's easier than trying to bring out your phone or trying to you just give them the little card it isn't far that's gonna get thrown away and you know that that, that brings up Annette, she's, she's one of our BSN entourage. She's amazing out in Florida. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've seen her. Uh, connect with her. She does an online business card with a QR code, and she has it all connected with a bot. Um, I, I think she has a little course set up or some way to do that, but to be able to manipulate that easily um, and, and have all the other functionalities that that, that bot allows you to have uh, is amazing. So, if you're listening to this right now and you're looking for like some business cards, that's a great way to go. I have mine set up and that's part of the QR code I'm talking about putting on my uh, postcard and she helped me with it. So if you're looking for a ninja expert for that, check out in that. Yeah. What, one little secret that I like to use, I like to use the, your contact um, on your iPhone. Now what you can do is, you know how you have a con you have, you, you create contacts on your phone. Well, you can make a personal contact for yourself. Um, so for example, mine will have my name, my email, it'll have my information on there. And once I get someone to text me, or for example, we go from Facebook, I give my cell phone number, mm -hmm. I create a personal contact. I'll, put, I'll even put my website in there. I can put info, I can put notes in there, whatever it needs. Just fill it up with all your information. And once they text you, you, you copy it and you send it to them and they can say, they can hit that contact card save it automatically so they don't have to worry about misspelling your last name or whatever they save it and now your contact is now your personal information is saved on their phone and it saves you so much and you have to always we talk about being the first one um like you you have to be the first one doing it you can't be like oh so the minute someone texts you you go oh thanks for the text you send them the contact and and it's done and they'll, it's it's crazy it's crazy um you know, I don't, that's great that you say that. I, I'm looking at mine right now. As you say that, I'm looking at my, my card, and I've never done that. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I have a little um, – that's a smart way to go, man. Thank you for, yeah. for saying I that. See, I'm I sure everybody like, else is doing it. I'm left behind doing it my old-fashioned way, you know? Yeah, you don't, you don't have to – what I just do, so many of someone's giving me the phone number. Do you have your phone on you right now? Yeah, I got my phone right here. I'll send it to you right now. Like I just go share contact and there it is, bro. And you and, can and put it's your a contact phone. card. Cause you know what I do is um, I have on my Trello board, I have like my contact info. It's got my website. It's got my phone number. It's got my email address. It's got my, my uh, app to, to look at homes, which is better than Zillow. Anyway, I've got all that and I send it as a text message instead of a contact card. I am going to start doing that. That's phenomenal. Thank you. 
Yeah, and it's and again, we we talk about being the first one to do to take action. You have to be the first one to do that. So that that saves, and then pe people are, people will be shocked, like, oh, that was easy, and then they'll cop they'll copy that, they'll do that, they'll see it, they'll see your picture on there, um, all your infos on there, and you can create a couple contacts, one for work, one for friends. Like I sent you my friend one that just has written my so you know whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and that way people won't, and you can even put your birthday on there too so your friends won't forget your birthday <laughs> and it saves on there and it'll if they if they have a calendar it'll be on there too <laughs> i absolutely love that i have not been doing that that is uh something i'm going to implement immediately yeah and dial that in because that's super easy i do a lot of um uh quick text apple and uh, i used to have an app for my android that did it but apple now i write group welcome on my phone and you see my long welcome which which welcomes group members it's always the same but it types it out for me it's a real long paragraph but i was using that that works well but this is so much better for a contact um to be able to make sure that they accurately got your email phone number uh, like you said your name spelled right um that that's huge so yeah awesome we're cruising along this morning i'm loving it man and uh this last one's a little bit um uh, on point for me this week is prioritize authenticity. Um, that, that means a whole lot of different things for me. Um, obviously in anything that you do, you want to be authentic. Um, but I think it's putting that out before anything else. Um, you know, businesses tried and I'm trying to figure out the right way to convey this uh, properly. Um, we, we get stuck on, um, on our message for our business. And I think that it's better to focus outward. You know, um, I know in, in, in sales relationships, you want to concentrate on the customer and be outward focused and all that. But I, I think that loses a little bit of translation in the online world a little bit because you're so busy trying to pump that business and you're not trying to be just you genuinely giving some good information. You know what I mean? Um, instead of these are the things that I can offer you flipping that around to say, Hey, these are the things that you can do to help put you in a better position or uh, help me out a little bit. Cause I'm struggling yeah. a little bit on, on explaining that a little okay. bit. Here's, here's the thing. When we talk about online is you have to have a mission. Uh, what is your mission? Uh, what is your mission plan? What is, you have to have your goals, put those in place first before you start. Because what we're talking right now, they're, they're, they're a little dry, uh, these marketing night tips, but it, it all comes into, it, it'll come into the, the, like who you are as a person, right? Like you, when you, that's why when we're talking to, you're, you're seeing a lot of live videos right now in, in the BSN uh, group. The reason being is because when we come out and do these vid live videos, at first, it's challenging to, to get comfortable, to talk to people, to get in front of the camera. Uh, I, I'm always messing up. I, I, I will always tell you guys that. I'm always. Um, we, we both do. We stray well, off on tangents. Yeah, like on stray off. You know, it, it's that's, just the yeah, way we that's, are. That's the goal. But what's, what's our mission in the group? What's our mission? We, we, we know the mission and we know the plan. But the mission is to find great people to network, to, to share our journey, and, and, and to find and to cultivate you know, to help other people out. That's our mission, right? To, to give value out there. Um, so let's say, for example, it doesn't matter. Like if, if let's, let's, we're going to go back, go back to a simple business. Let's real, we're going to do real estate, right? Matt's, Matt's mission. I'm, I'm just going to say, if, if I'm just going to, I'm not speaking for Matt, but I'm just saying Matt's mission is to give the great and best service out to, to each client that he, 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 he wants to do the best for each client, right? Find the best home, right? So you have to tell yourself, so every morning you have to tell yourself, my goal is to make sure that each person that I communicate, I'm going to give them the, give them the best version of myself every single day. You know, that's kind of like how it has to be. Um, and yes, we're all perfect. We're not perfect. We're all going to screw. We're going to have bad days. You know, we have a busy weekend. You have a busy weekend. We have life things, but you have to always come back to the root of who you are as a person and say, okay, this is my mission. Um, and your mission will change. You, you will evolve. And that's what we talk about authenticity. You have to be real. Sometimes you come into this, people that come into the, the social media world or whatever, and they go, I want to make a, I want to be a multimillionaire. I say, great, that's great. But I, but if that was your mission, if we came out to you guys and say, Hey, we want to be millionaires and listen to us or whatever, 
you probably are going to be like, no, that's not going to work. Right. Or if all, all of a sudden we started like doing crazy, stupid things and we're like, you know, uh, you know, start, we're, we're being us. We're not, we're not going out of the extreme and making fools of ourselves every single morning. And, 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 um, maybe we goof around a little bit. Maybe we look silly once in a while. Maybe. That's personality though. Yeah. I mean, I think at the end of the day, like you said, these are some dry topics, but bringing some personality to it and some understanding sure. I think helps. Uh, yeah. And like you said, the underlying um, um, thought process and vision for this is just to be outward and helping people. So I think, you know, and, and, and these things, like we said, these are things we're practicing. This is exactly. never come on here as an expert. And that right there is my being authentic. Hey, these are things we're practicing every day. You know, uh, I know that there's, there's things that, uh, that you're going to do last week that didn't go well, real well, that we're going to try and practice better this week. Yeah. You know, I can, I can, I'm my worst critic, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, we're still coming here saying, Hey, we're practicing, we're doing what we say we're going to do. And these are the results we're getting. Yeah. And like Matt says, I get like that. And it's funny that you mentioned that QR, that Q card, the, 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 the Q code going out, doing something different, like a flyer or whatever, because you're right. Like I was thinking in my head, like, I was talking to the, I did a live video with the, um, with the, um, uh, went out to a, like a food truck, right? And I wish I could, I, should, I wish I had something to hand that guy, the guy and said, hey, you know what? By the way, we have a group. Here's a, hey, if you have, if you're one, you know, join our group or, but I didn't have anything, right? He's busy. I can't, I don't have time to get his number. I could have just gave him something, right? So I didn't have that. And I go, what, what, what? I'm thinking, and that's funny that you bring that up, right? So this is what we're talking about is we're trying to just drop ideas, get your head spinning, and and you come up with the idea yourself. We're not here to like, oh, you know, you do. No, we all refine it. This is, it what, this is A, B, and C. You do it yourself. We're going to do it for you. You know, you're, you know, you're you talking can... about that. You can very easily just go, hey, you know, here, here's my, my QR code. Scan it for me. Can you see that very well? Yeah, okay. it, it comes in and out. There you go. Yeah. No, that's my QR code. Hey, drop info in the link if you want me to send that to you so you can check it out. But, you know, phone to phone, you can scan scan uh, QR codes. So you can put a QR code right big on your screen to say, here, scan this. That way you could go. That's something you could have done at the food truck. You know, something, yeah. that, you know, yeah. something we got to think about. Yeah. And then I could, that guy probably, if I would have showed him something like that, then that guy would have been like, oh, that's a good idea. He probably doesn't know. Um, I, 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 you know, he's, these people don't know. It's like, hey, and I could have said, hey, you know what, by the way. And then you could have changed his like whole idea of thinking like, okay, great. Because he's, he's, I mean, these, I mean, people are out there again. They're out there putting themselves out there. They're out working. They're out there. You know, I don't know if that guy, for example, like was working at the strip for 20 years and um, he put all his savings into this food truck. And then now he's got this, you know, he's out there trying to make a living for his family and he's he doesn't know he doesn't know much about social media marketing and what he could be doing and he's probably and he's got good food but sometimes just a little bit those little nuggets help out every single day on on when you're because when you're busy running the business when you're busy about uh paying the bill for the you know all this stuff kind of get gas for the tr food truck and all of a sudden someone tells you hey look at this you can try this like oh, okay great we'll look into it and boom he just changed his life right oh. that's kind of him um, that's Speaking yeah. of food trucks, we got to hit that burger joint, Barcode Burgers. Barcode, we're going to go. We'll do it. Yeah, I saw them, uh, one of the other um, guys that I follow, uh, Sean, um, uh, I'm going to be challenged with his last name, Yuihara. Uh, he's a, uh, a lender here in town. Anyway, he did a live interview with them, and that's how I, 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 I got familiar. See, see how the lines work? I never knew about Barcode Burgers. I probably passed by it 50 times. No. But uh, I saw him on a live uh, broadcast. I investigated a little bit. I actually contacted him, and uh, I can't wait. Uh, ben and I, uh, we're going to do a live over there here one of these days, uh, eating some burgers over there. She, um, she actually, I did a live, and the owner has sent me, um, has been commenting on my live videos, and she's always commenting, like, on my live videos, and then she's like, come to, I'm like, okay. Like, so that's how, this is how Absolutely. powerful, this is how powerful comments are. Okay, just tell you right now how powerful they are. I did a live on, you know, my favorite restaurants to go eat at. The owner of the restaurant sends comments, and then she puts her, she plugs in her restaurant, of course, right? And she's been just commenting and plugging in her restaurant in my lives, right? Maddie comes in and goes, yeah, we need to go. 
now we're gonna go and do a live. We're gonna go eat there, have a hamburger. We'll probably do some pictures, some photos, or put it on Instagram. Right. We're gonna tag us. So now she's gonna have. It's it's crazy how that works, right? So this well, week works works in reverse as well. Yeah, yeah. So now we're gonna give her a little plug. It doesn't matter really because hey, we went, we finally came to the restaurant. We're gonna tag her, say hey, how are you? We're at the restaurant. Da da da. She may be there, not be there. It doesn't really matter. But then the day we're gonna go spend money at a restaurant, eat food, just from her commenting a couple times, right? That's it. Absolutely. <laughs> it's engagement. It wasn't just uh, uh, um, sitting in the background, not not engaging. She was out there. She made the connection and she stayed with it. I mean, um, you know, I see a lot of that where people will just go in and they'll make a little comment and they'll expect you to start following them and, and you don't get any more comments anymore. And you're, you're, you're sitting there following them, but they're, they're, there's off to somebody new. And that's not what this is about either. You know, you're, you're trying, you know, yes, we all get overwhelmed. Yes. I've missed messages. Hey, it happens, you know, in comments, but we do try and, and pick them all up because it's a conversation. You know, I'm not just trying to drive you to learn more about me. I want to interact with you. I can't interact with everybody every day, but on social, we can have those little micro conversations and, and, and experience each other and each other's lives a little bit every day. Absolutely. And a side note, when we go to the restaurant, if she gives the QR code coupon or something or like uh, her business card, then we're going to be like, damn, this lady's on top of it, right? Like, totally. <laughs> totally. And I think that's, that's a great, what we're talking uh, about. Everything's connected. Everything connects. Um, we can't give you like some people go. Oh, people want the secret sauce. This that is the secret sauce. Everything just kind of connects, right? It's like you're at the gym. We can tell you to do the push-ups, uh, ten push-ups and sit-ups and and squats. But in between though, you do have to like drink water, stretch, uh, make sure you don't eat before you work out, or maybe you're gonna do it. Whatever you know, like um, whatever the program up. is. You got to get some rest before that your workout to get to get the high performance. That's why you see a lot of these people that do like CrossFit. They're like in such phenomenal shape. It's not because they're doing that workout like every single. It's because they're they're doing little tweaks in between the workouts. Um, they're 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 dieting a certain way, certain foods, all the keto, whatever. I don't know. They're doing. My wife does it too. So <laughs> you know she's. But it, it it she it does make a difference. You know, big difference between like eating eggs. Like whole egg, the regular eggs between and then the egg whites, you know, does that sound exciting to me? No, it doesn't sound exciting, but it does make a difference if you just do a couple little tweaks here and there. All of a sudden, um, you're gonna, you're gonna, it, it all come, it all connects together. It's like pieces of the puzzle. So that's that's kind of the, the yeah, yeah. yeah, that's kind of the whole idea. Oh man, I'm on. I need another cup of coffee. How are you? I, I'm at the end of mine as well, and uh, I, that was a great conversation, uh, yeah. buddy. Uh, it, I really appreciated it. Um, I'm definitely going to uh, up my game a little bit uh, from what you told me on the contact card. I'm going to actually do that uh, after I get off this. I get another call. Yeah. We, uh, gotta, we, get, we get at the uh, cards for ourselves. That's I, we need a cute like a like a. I'll make card. it. It's easy. Um, okay. QR code's easy. Hey, if you need to know how to you uh, make a QR. Drop me a comment. Let me know. Hey, Manny, I need help. Because maybe we'll do a video on that really, really easy. If, if, if people struggle making QR codes, it's super simple. You can have even put a picture in there. I'll help you out. All right. But I don't want to help just one person. If you're the one, you know, Ben and I are the same. If you have a question, other people have that question. If I have that question, other people have that question. And that's why we do this forum. We're de uh, donating and, and, and our time every day to do this consistently to answer any questions that y'all have. So if we do have a marketing Monday, but somebody has a question about Legion, we, we may very well answer it on here. So I just want to thank everybody very much for, for giving us the time uh, this morning. I appreciate it every day. We do have the YouTube channel. I'm doing a little bit different where I'm doing the week in review. I'm trying to find the right uh, message for the YouTube channel. And I also have the podcast. The podcast is huge. It's getting now picked up. I'm starting to get that. In, we're starting to get that into uh, other groups as well. So uh, check us out. It, um, check my link out. We're going to have all the information there. We're going to have a BSN link here shortly that's going to have all our different groups uh, and different things as well. Uh, all right, Ben, thank you so much this morning. Uh, have a great day. And remember, everybody, slay the day, folks. Thank you for joining Business Sales and Networking. We're a proud member of the Real Disrupt Podcast Collaborative. You can check out more of our awesome podcasts at realdisrupt.com.